study, new clue explains why men develop severe COVID-19 than women. The novel coronavirus could infect anyone regardless of age. However, COVID-19 cases hinted that men were likely to develop severe symptoms compared to women. In the first study of its kind, researchers identified a possible answer to the mystery. They found that men were likely to produce a weaker immune response than women. That was suggested in men, especially those older than 60 years. The production of a weaker immune response might indicate that men would depend more on vaccines. In the paper submitted to Nature, researchers analyzed patients with moderate COVID-19 who had not received immunomodulatory drugs. There were 17 men and 22 women. They examined the patient's viral loads, plasma cytokines, and blood cell phenotypes between genders. Results from male patients showed significantly high plasma levels of innate immune cytokines, interleukin-8 and interleukin-18. Male patients also showed robust non-classical monocytes. Results from female patients showed high levels of IL-8 and IL-18, but female patients expressed more robust T-cells than male patients. While age could affect T-cell activity in both genders, older men were more prone to severe symptoms and worse clinical outcomes. On the other hand, if women excessively express immune cytokines, it might risk worse outcomes. Dr. Marcus Altfeld, an immunologist at the Heinrich Pet Institute said, We are looking at two sides of the same coin. You could imagine scenarios where a single shot of a vaccine might be sufficient in young individuals or maybe young women while older men might need to have three shots of vaccine. According to Dr. William Gruber, a vice president at Pfizer, companies involving COVID-19 vaccines have not yet released data regarding participants' gender. Though the US FDA already asked the companies to provide information including ethnic and racial background. The New York Times reported that the first group of cohorts were patients who had not been ventilated. The second group of cohorts was 59 men and women who filled the criteria of the first cohort group. In both groups, the results were the same. Women exhibited greater immune responses compared to men, but women who had higher levels or other cytokines were at risk of becoming seriously ill. Researchers speculated that women have better immune responses because of their bodies. They are naturally designed to carry unborn babies. After giving birth, mothers can nourish their babies for a few years via breastfeeding, meaning their bodies can prep immune cells and antibodies better and faster to protect children.